However, there is an epidemic facing America that is taking more lives than the war on terror. It is veteran suicide. Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Miller spoke with veterans in the area to find out the struggle soldiers face when returning from active duty. But I didn't see it. You, you don't really read and see it. You just figure, well, it's just normal. I can handle it. Studies show that in the U.S., 20 to 25 veterans commit suicide every day. That means one out of every five suicides is a veteran. Bob Skinner, a Vietnam Navy vet, knows the effects all too well as his longtime friend ended his life. Is there something I could have done? Should I have called him more? Should I have emailed him more? Should I have gone to see him? Soldiers losing brothers to post traumatic stress disorder. You got to at least talk to somebody about it. If you don't, it's going to eat you up from the inside. You know, guys commit suicide, but they, it's not the outward type of suicide. It's not like you know, overdosing or shooting themselves. It's like getting on a motorcycle and going 120 miles an hour down the interstate. Soldiers unsure of where to turn need to know resources are available. As we understand what it is and be more understanding of our military members, then I think what we do is we end up helping to challenge that stigma. Uh, we end up helping them feel like, okay, this is, this is normal for anyone who's gone through something that is traumatic. People that don't understand or have never been through it, it's good to have somebody that they can listen to you. Just that helps. I mean, you don't have to do anything but just say, just, just recognize and, and, and be sincere about it. But even after some help, Skinner says images of war are still to this day hard to lose. Do you, have you been back to Vietnam? And with big tears streaming down his face, he looked at the person who's talking to him and says, I go back every night. So that's tough. In Idaho Falls, I'm Hannah Miller. If you or someone you know or love is suffering from PTSD, you can find more information on our website, kidk.com.